My wife being with another man ignited my fantasies, but left me grappled with jealousy and heartbreaking. Wife and I are both 28 and have been together five years. I've always been into sharing her, but she's been cautious about it and always wanting to only fantasize rarely. If I bring it up as an option, she would tell me she wants to be monogamous and she doesn't want to sleep with someone else. I let it go for the most part except for the occasional fantasy or joke, but mostly just left it to me fantasizing about it alone. Tonight that changed. She asked me if I'm still into having an open relationship out of the blue. I said no because I don't want to sleep with another woman. She seemed kind of disappointed. I said, but I am still into you have the freedom to sleep around. She said, well, what would that mean? Seemingly excited. She is going out to the bars tomorrow night with her friend. So she asked if she met a guy, how would it go? Would she text me to ask permission or tell me what she's doing? I said, yes, please text me. I want to know you're safe. She said that would be no problem. Then she told me she loves me. Now she's asleep, but I'm really regretting not asking more questions. I was so shocked by her brining it up out of nowhere. I was too stunned to think. I'm wondering if she is actually thinking about it or she is just teasing me or testing me to see if I'm still into it. I don't know what my next step should be. Let her decide and take the lead or try to get more involved. Edit. I talked to her. She doesn't have someone in mind. She has just been having age anxiety recently. We want to move soon out of the city and start a family. I'm her first partner and she has been friends with a girl who has been single now and having fun. She admitted she maybe is a bit jealous she couldn't experiment and has been fantasizing about SX with a stranger a lot. She was very happy to be able to tell me this and not feel embarrassed. I asked her when she fantasizes about this like, does she do it when I'm not around? And she got all red and told me it's how she CMS when I go down on her. I found this so hot. We talked about what she wants and she doesn't know. She doesn't know if she would actually go through with it, but it's nice to know she has the option. She said she would 100% use condoms and be safe. For tonight, she said she wanted to just dance with some men and see how it went, but she doubts she will go home with one. I told her how this all makes me so happy and excited. It was really just amazing talking about it so honestly. I told her to dress really SXY. And so we are looking forward to that. Update. My wife, 28, went out on Saturday to some bars near our house with her girlfriend. We ended up talking before she went and had an in-depth conversation about what she wanted and what her desires were. Felt surreal to finally be hearing her show interest in other men after pretty much nothing for the past five years. Was so fun to watch her get ready knowing she was trying to look her best. She wore a sheer black top with a black BR, underneath and short skirt with nylons. Looked so SXY and knowing guys would be all over her was so exciting was super hard to sit still and not go crazy when she was gone. She didn't really update me too much just telling me she was safe and when to pick her up that I picked her and her friend up at 2am and they were both very tipsy and giggling. Her friend knew the deal and was teasing and giggling about the men my wife was flirting and dancing with. It was so crazy to be openly talking about it with another person. When I dropped her friend off my wife let me know what happened. She got to a dance club and immediately started getting attention. She danced with a couple men and maybe an hour later finally met one who she was really attracted to. He was a great dancer and she told me he held her really tight. He was confident and started kissing her and leading her to a darker corner. He pinned her against the wall and made out with her. She told me how alive and SXY she felt. This is kind of what she had fantasized about for a while now. She told me she could feel his hard CCK pressed against her and he was a great kisser. He got more daring and pushed his hand up her thigh past her skirt or rubbed her PSSY and grabbed her AS. I had to ask about what she touched and she told me his CCK though his pants. She ended up somehow snapping back to reality and knowing I was going to get her, and she was responsible for her friend getting home, gave him her phone number, and a last kiss. My heart was pounding it was hard to even focus driving letting alone breathe listening. It almost didn't feel real that she was telling me this. I couldn't believe how far she actually went and how she was now telling me so honestly. I could tell how excited she was almost like a teenager who just had SX for the first time. I asked her if she wanted more. She answered yes, I wanted him to FCK me. Will you text him? Yes. Would you see him again? Yes. She was a bit too DRNK and felt sick by the time we got home, so we both passed out. The next morning, without saying anything about that prior night, we had the most passionate intense SX we have had in years. It was obvious we were both so turned on, couldn't have asked for a better start of trying this lifestyle out, and it was well worth the wait. Update. Over the past week my wife has been texting her new friend. They set plans to get DRNKS tonight. She hasn't sent him any naughty photos or as sexted, but the conversations are extremely flirty. She can't hide her excitement. And to be honest, the SX has been incredible all week. We have been talking a little bit about what she will do and some ground rules, but she's been kind of insistent that it was just DRNKS and a movie back at his place. Regardless, we played the hypothetical of, if it happened, what we would be comfortable with. This morning, though, reality set in. We both woke up, and we often have SX in the mornings on the weekend. She has been frisky all week, so I was excited. Yet she denied me. After a little back and forth, she finally admitted why. If the hypothetical happened tonight, she wanted to be nice and fresh for him. So basically she's saving her PSSY for another man. Don't know if that's actually a thing but that's what she is doing. 
She also completely shaved this morning which she hasn't done for a while. I think at that point I knew her intentions and I think she is trying to pretend it will just be DRNKS, but it's obvious she will FCK him if she can, which is great. But now I'm of course of having second thoughts. Over five years I never thought I would back out but now insecurity is creeping in. I keep thinking about this other man seducing her and FKing her better than I ever could. There is something very comforting about being her only partner ever. We have a decent SX life, but she doesn't really know anything else. All of this is extremely SXY in one way, that's why I'm here, but also hurts in another crazy way. I can tell she's excited, and she is now fully into seeing him. She's not as shy as she used to be about it. It's almost like a newfound confidence and something I have not seen. It is strange almost seeing her pushing for the next step now, after being so deferential before. I am now currently trying to deal with all sorts of new insecure thoughts. I told her some of them, and she on one hand is very understanding and said if I want her to cancel, or just get DRNKS that is fine. But on the other I can tell she's slightly annoyed that I encouraged this, and now I might just pull it out from underneath her. Like I'm playing with her. She has a point. I'm fairly sure I want her to go. I just know I'm going to be losing my mind while she's gone. Our only ground rule is them using condoms. I wonder if there is anything else I'm missing here. Other than that my wife might become a hot wife tonight, and sleep with only the second guy in her life. Absolutely nerve-inducing but hopefully worth it. Update. I helped her get ready at about 8 p.m. She was super nervous and excited. We both were. I asked her how likely she was to go home with him, and she told me honestly she wanted to try it. She wore a SXY low-cut blue shirt and a skirt with nylons and heels. Underneath she wore a black thong. She never wears thongs. She spent a lot of time making her makeup and hair look amazing. It was so nerve-wracking watching her prepare like I have not seen in years. She looked stunning. Her date actually couldn't get to the bar until 9.30, so we delayed it a bit. I drove her to the bar and dropped her which was surreal since I was literally driving her to her date. Knowing when she left she probably wouldn't be just mine anymore. I told her I loved her and how much I wanted her to have fun but safe. She said she loved me too and she would keep me updated. I could tell she was also super nervous but excited. Now it's 11.30 and I just got a call from her and she's going to go back to his place and watch a movie on Netflix. She said she is a little tipsy and he's very cute. Ugh. It's definitely happening. So insane. I actually thought about asking her to come home in that moment but couldn't say it. I am very excited for her and waiting for the next update and to know when to pick her up. Her kissing him and him undressing her keeps running through my mind over and over. Update 2. She did it. She f ked him. Losing my mind now she sent me this text. Just a text but seeing it made me almost pass out. OOP's wife reveals that they had SX and is safe. OOP is elated and asks if she needs a ride home. His wife asks to stay a little longer and states that the SX was amazing and lasted so long. They make plans to pick her up later that night. Just a couple texts but now trying to read into what she is saying and waiting for her next text without spamming her. Update 3. Speechless. She's staying the night. OOP's wife reaches out and says they couldn't make it very far into the movie and had SX again. She asks if it's okay for her to stay the night. OOP tells her if she thinks it is a good idea then he is on board with it. He requests some kind of detail from their experience. OOP's wife tells him that the SX is really, really good and that he puts her in all sorts of positions that she's never tried before, including shower SX. Update 4. Finally feel asleep around 4 a.m. Was so hard to sleep and so many thoughts racing through my mind. I kept trying to sleep but kept thinking of different scenarios with her and him. Thank you to some of the people that spent time distracting me to the fact my wife was having SX all night and sleeping in another guy's bed. I got up this morning around 7 and was still HRNY. She hadn't messaged me. So another couple hours of complete angst. She finally texted me around 10.30 that she was up and I could come get her anytime. Felt so weird driving over to the guy's house to pick her up after what had happened. He lived in a really fancy apartment building and I waited outside. Finally seeing her come out was overwhelming I almost cried. I could wait to hug her so I got out of the car and just hugged her and she hugged me tightly and we told each other we loved each other. The first 5 minutes of the car ride were a little awkward like we both didn't know what to say or how to start talking about it. She was just saying she was so tired and didn't sleep much. Of course I said, so you were having SX all night. She responded yes pretty much haha. That kind of broke the ice and she was giggling but I could tell she was super tired. I didn't want to push her on details especially since was so tired. So I just told she can relax when she gets home and I support her love her and expressed how lucky I am. She def liked hearing that and said how lucky she is too. We got home and basically just cuddled until she fell asleep and she's still sleeping now. I still don't know too many details but I know she's exhausted which is a good thing haha. I will update again when I hear more but I think having her back took away a ton of my anxiety and now I'm just excited to hear more of what she did and maybe even have SX if she's not too sore. Update 5. She ended up sleeping until about 3 p.m. She was very sore and still kind of tired so I made her tea and gave her some Advil. I just told her I loved her and supported her and no rush with the details. I know it is probably a lot and you are still processing. She said thank you so much and she wanted to tell me but wanted to have a couple hours to just act normal. 
We ended up grocery shopping and doing some errands. Later that night we made some cocktails and got into bed and she said are you ready to hear what happened? My heart was racing. Almost thought I would have a heart ADA. She asked me how detailed I wanted it and I said as much as you can remember. She made sure at first this will turn me on but what she went into depth. I will put some bullet points about what I remember. She got dropped off at the bar by me. They met up and she was so so nervous even more nervous than before. After one or two DRNKS they started really hitting it off he had his hand on her leg. She was wet already. They went to a darker spot in the bar and got a booth where they both sat on the same side. He had his hands on her and they started making out. She said he was an amazing kisser. His hands went under her skirt. She said she felt so naughty being like that at the bar but liked it surprisingly and didn't want to stop kissing him. They got a couple more DRNKS and she got pretty tispy until he finally got them an Uber to his place. They made out in the back of the Uber and his hands were all over her including up her skirt. They got to his place and she wasn't nervous anymore and she really wanted him. She also said they had a ton of chemistry. He made DRNKS and they started a movie but it quickly moved back to kissing and she got on her knees in front of the couch and gave him a BL job. This was so hot as she doesn't do this often. So she must have been super HRNY. I know I will get asked he was big. She was also a bit taken back by the fact he was uncut but she liked it. She really wanted to make him see him but he wanted to FCK her. He had her get undressed but stay on the floor esking him until she was fully in ked. He then told her to get on her back on the couch with her head on the armrest. I asked her if she was nervous and she said she was honestly so HRNY and wanting him so bad she was almost begging for him to go faster getting the scene dom on. Ugh. She said he got on top of her and teased her while making out. She really enjoyed this part because he would get close to entering her but then rub against her. She got so wet she said that when he finally did it felt so so good. He started out slow and kept it slow for a while and she said his tongue was down her throat. It felt very good. He then without her expecting it pulled out and flipped her over the armrest and pulled her AS up and entered her from behind. She said the entire motion was so incredible and feeling him re-enter her. And then she said he went hard, very hard. He held her hair and spanked her. It was rough SX. He then slowed down a bit and touched her CLT and she came really hard. He then came also. She also told me he talked dear Rudy to her which I've never done and she liked that also. She lay panting on the couch out of breath and he got her water. The both stayed in ked and put a blanket on and got back to the movie. 15 minutes later she was in his lap and he was touching her body and they both were wanting another round. He then suggested the bedroom. While going to the bedroom she saw his bathroom which had a huge rain shower. He saw her staring and asked her to get in. She showered in front of him while he watched, hot. And he came in she gave him another BL job in the shower. He then carried her out and put her on the sink and got another scene dom and F ked her on his sink and then carried her down to the floor and F ked her there. They then went to the bedroom where it was blur. They did tons of positions and she said it felt like an hour. She described as very rough again at some point slow, and some kissing. Very acrobatic. He told her he wanted to finish on her face. She agreed. We have never done this, and she had never expressed any interest in it whatsoever. She told me she was still a bit DRNK, and it kind of sounded fun. He straddled her with her on her back, and came all over her face. A lot? Holy FCK. I am happy she was honest here but wow. My wife in that position is mind-blowing, and just stomach-churning. I asked her if she liked it. Face turns red, yes. With his CM on her face, she started getting up to clean up, and she pushed her down and fingered her to another orgasm. Then she was able to clean herself off. Thought this was super hot. Getting late, and he convinced her to just stay over. Tried to go to bed in ked, but ending up touching each other again in bed. He put on another scene dom, and tried to enter her but she was sore and it was hurting. Asked her if she had tried an L. Of course we have never done this either. This is almost unbelievable at this point. She has never shown interest in it and I have never seen her act like this. I mean very hot but I am shook. She said she wanted to try. For some reason she wanted to say yes to everything. He held her and used a finger at first with LB and then slowly worked his CCK inside her. She told me it actually felt kind of good. When he went faster it started to hurt, so they stayed slow. It started to hurt her after about 10 minutes, so they both were exhausted at this point and fell asleep at about 6am or so. This is why she has been very sore all day also to woke up about 9am. They tried to have SX again but she was sore and he was also sore. I came and got her after this. Honestly did not expect her to go this far. She apologized during a lot and said she maybe was a bit too DRNK. I encouraged her though and supported her during her telling me and saying it was all super hot which I think gave her more confidence to tell me everything. She also had her hand on my CCK and knew I was hard. It didn't come up from either of us but it's kind of obvious that we have never had SX like this. I don't ever remember her being this into it. To be completely honest I thought SX like this was made up and not really something that happened outside of fantasies or stories. I am hoping she has found a new side of her, and maybe we can explore some of that. There are definitely feelings of insecurity and jealousy that I am processing, and I did tell her, and she said some comforting things, but still. However, 
I think the experience was good but very nerve-inducing, and I do feel closer to her somehow, especially the honesty about it was so almost therapeutic knowing she will tell me anything. We decided to discuss next steps in the next few days, while we still come down from this crazy event. Thank you for everyone who messaged me, and all the advice. It helped to know how to react when she got home, and give her space she said she had expected me to be all over her, but it was so much nicer for her to tell me on her own time. Update. Back two months ago I wrote how my wife had her first hot wife experience after five years. I promised I would update, and it's taken a while. The last two months have been a complete roller coaster. I wanted to update as I think it will give people an idea of how things can go, and maybe help other couples navigating. One thing I don't think I mentioned, but is relevant, in my original posts, was that my wife and I were both virgins when we met. Of course SX was a bit awkward for both of us, and looking back was fairly vanilla and mediocre. What I thought was good SX was me being selfish and not really finding what she liked. She also admitted she closed down and didn't communicate what she needed. This resulted in just kind of bland short SX once a week, which only got exacerbated with time. One reason I started developing a fantasy around this was for another guy to sort of break the rhythm, maybe have her feel more SXY. She is so hot, and it was fun imagining her embracing her sexuality. Since I wasn't able to do it, I started imagining someone else doing it. At the same time, unbeknownst to me, she was also a becoming frustrated and unsatisfied. She had made a new friend who was single, and they discussed our SX life, which then led her to finally bringing up my offers of a hot wife scenario. She had her first experience, linked above, was probably the most intense night of my life. I did not sleep at all. I actually still think about her first night the most despite the rest of this update. Just the idea of her being with another man for the first time. Her telling me about it after. How nervous she was going to his place and undersing in front of him. Her heart racing. Realizing she was absolutely soaked. Then having the best SX of her life. She comes home. Too sore for SX. She is so tired she basically sleeps 17 hours straight. Finally get the details and they are insane. Post it on the link. We keep going over the details during the week. So, so hot. But here's some mistakes start happening. We don't have SX. She's somehow still sore days after. She continues talking to him and texting. Of course I'm super HRNY, so I don't see any issue with it. I ignore that she did go way beyond what we agreed to. She stayed overnight. They tried an L. Over time how out of control the situation was started to seep in. In some ways her losing control and trying new things was exactly what I wanted, but it was also not part of my fantasy anymore. It was hers and she was in control. As we talked about it more it was obvious she really enjoyed it. Beyond what my fantasy for her was. She wanted more and as far as she felt I shouldn't let her do this once and then get upset and yank it away from her. When we had talked before I didn't expect it would go this well and had told her it would be okay for her to have a longer term partner and develop some sort of small emotional bond. This was something she said she needed. Now it was obvious this was happening as they spent the next week texting. We had a pre-planned trip to Florida the following Sunday. The trip was planned to be three weeks during the Christmas holiday. She convinced me she wanted to go out with one last time before we left. My HRNY self said yes even though at this point I was having second thoughts. She ended up going out with him again to a bar and sleeping at his place as I waited at home again. No photos. Not too many updates. I was tortured at home. I actually picked her up from his place on my way to the airport after packing her bag for her. After his she's always in an amazing mood. It's a sight to behold. Just so happy and content. Picking her up it was obvious she just showered. Later I learned she had just given him a blowy ob in the shower right before I was arriving to get her. We get down to Florida, and we have three weeks to spend just ourselves. In my mind this is where a lot of the reconnection would happen. I was super excited to spend time talking about what she did with him and feel close to her. We didn't have SX since she first saw him, but I was justifying it that we would have plenty of time in Florida. The first night it's going as planned we talk about they did that weekend which ended up being very wild. However, she won't have SX with me. She starts crying and admits they have not been using condoms. TBH I had figured as much and was suspicious they were using them. Other Redditors privately messaged me to tell me it was likely they didn't. I did trust her though and where condoms were my one real rule. She admitted they used one for about 20 minutes the first night and had not since. This is again where I make mistakes. I'm HRNY and have not had SX in now weeks after so much stimulation. I just basically tell her it's okay and that happens. I let my h get the best of me and I'm curious and want to know so bad why they stopped. I'm literally so hard hearing this even while she's crying that she made a mistake. It's overwhelming to know he's been seeming in my wife's PSSY repeatedly over the past two weeks. Hearing her cry I wanted to comfort her and pretty much forgave her immediately. She agreed to get an STD test and to use condoms in the future but this was the reason. She said she was avoiding SX. She wanted to protect me from her risky behavior. We ended up talking about him and the SX and I decided to just be completely open to what she felt with him and not judge her and support her. This advice I had gotten from people who messaged me since if I showed jealousy, she would close up and hide things from me. Over time she got very honest. At my urging, I would coax it out of her what really happened and how she really felt. To put it lightly, her eyes were opened on the first night. 
The SX was very good. She felt like a woman in her words, wanted, sex why, desired, naughty. She allowed herself to be vulnerable and explore. She admitted years with me had maybe closed her off to this stuff. This was her first time with another man, and she had low expectations going into it, but quickly he made her feel animalistic. Her PSSY was pounding so much she could feel it in her ears. She org smed with ease, and she let him dictate. She didn't feel embarrassed or shy. She wanted to show off for him. Could have been the ALC hole, but it doesn't matter because it still happened. After we went though this, I started having real issues with what happened. It was hard to just support her and not worry and feel extremely insecure. I felt like in a way she had betrayed me. Not only the not using condoms, but the way she told me of what she did. She sounded infatuated and just DRNK on the SX. I could tell she was texting him often, even while being with me. She told me he wanted a photo of her bare PSSY each morning when she woke up and she was obliging that request. In a way it was all personal jealousy when I wasn't HRNY. The fact this dude made her feel that way. A way I had not made her feel in 5 years. This would make me sick when I wasn't HRNY and make me see him when I was. I was also worried that she would start thinking she married the wrong guy. She was unstable also, bouncing between apologetic, euphoric, angry. Ever since I had known her, she had always been level-headed. Now I was seeing a new side to her, all caused by him. I don't want to go into all the details but we ended up arguing a lot. She realized she was being crazy but in a way she didn't care. She wanted to have the experience with him and she had a point that I let it happen. She wouldn't say this but she kind of set it up as she wanted to keep seeing him no matter what. People are going to KLL me on this but I basically agreed to everything she wanted. I feel like this was a big turning point. I stopped fighting her and went back to finding what I enjoy and what she does. I accepted that I chose this now. One friend on Reddit gave me good advice this was my only real opportunity to make this work. Our biggest mistake was both being so inexperienced getting into this. She didn't know how to control her feelings around SX and I didn't make boundaries. She is going to have to ride this out. She continued seeing him after we got back from Florida. I would say our relationship resembles more of a C-word relationship at the current state. I tried to have SX with her and couldn't get hard. I have not had SX with her since she has been with him. She sees him about once per week. They have wild and crazy SX trying all sorts of new things and I do love to hear about it after. She has started sending me photos of them together and getting me more involved that way. Things have actually gotten way better over the last few weeks. Right after Florida in early January I think she did actually think she was in love with him. She even said as much to him in the heat of the moment. Now things have definitely cooled down and they seem to see each other as SX buddies. Apologize for the huge delay in updating. Thank you for everyone who messaged me to give advice. I realize this is probably not what people want to hear and I am going to get demolished for how I handled it. I want to give people a true experience that I went through while trying to do this lifestyle. The main thing I learned was my fantasy was so much different from reality and so much different from her fantasies. My wife is a completely different person now. I still love her just as much, but there is no doubt she has completely changed. She dresses SXY. She is as very confident. She has started getting waxed. She loves SX with him. She feels young. She is happy and fulfilled and aside from the arguments and missteps, she is very grateful and loving to me. It all is all worth it to see her like that. Update. After the last update, they kept seeing each other through the spring. It included sleepovers and usually averaged one day a week and sometimes more. We morphed into a C-word relationship which looking back yes was hot in some ways, but it totally benefited her. I was promised I would get to watch her participate in TBH that wasn't really my interest starting out, but when you are basically excluded it started sounding very good. This never happened due to her lover not allowing it. I think giving up all control was really the beginning of the end and becoming her C-word really led us down a spiraling path where I couldn't say no to her. For most of the time I think she tried to make it work. But looking back now it was obvious she was slowly starting to feel more attached to him and TBH fall in love. Early on I got photos from her and him but slowly they stopped sending them. She would tell me in great detail what they did together and I would get off to it and it seemed like that was the one way we connected over it but that tailed off too. I was living almost vicariously through her. Their SX life was so vibrant and frankly animalistic. They needed each other. They tried everything and it was wild. It was really what I wanted but I couldn't make it happen. They did things she never would have done before. Things she said were 100% off the table, or stuff both of us didn't know existed. On the other hand, my entire Sual life was based around what he did to her, and if she would tell me or send a photo. I got one photo of her in a leash and ket on her knees. I didn't need PRN after that. Unfortunately, the sharing started slowing down after a while, despite them seeing each other often. I was literally feeding of whatever scraps they gave me. At a certain point, when I was in HRNY, I realized how bad it had gotten and I could feel I was losing her and started panicking. I tried to beg her to slow down or even stop. I h Ted that I caused all this and now it was out of my control and I wanted control back. To my surprise she agreed to take a break and for a while things seemed better. We took a vacation to Costa Rica together. In the end though it just felt awkward. She admitted she missed her lover 
We couldn't get any spark back to have SX also. At the same time, she independently had started saying she was non-monogamous and claiming she had done a ton of research on the topic. This for her excused wanting a full relationship and could let her tell me it's normal to have strong feelings for him. My main argument with her was I never agreed to let her have a full boyfriend. She then basically told me she owed him at least coffee to explain where we're all at. At this point, it was clear she didn't really respect my opinion, and I don't think she even noticed it. She would try to placate me to keep me docile, but after retrospection, I do believe she was hedging her bets. I was proven right, Imo. I don't have full proof, but it's kind of obvious she wanted to have a full relationship with him for a while. He had been flaky, and she was testing the waters there while keeping me on the back burner. She was setting the stage for a clean break if he was willing. After the coffee, I think she got commitment from him that she wanted, and basically it just went downhill from there. She pulled the non-monogamous card and started seeing him more than two days a week. She even started saying she loves him. She stopped undersing around me. TBH I was pathetic in this stage, I just let her do whatever she wanted. I was honestly hoping he would break it off with her. That was my only hope. I was delusional. I kept thinking they would get bored but in some ways, I think, the anticipation between sessions made it more exciting. They would build up through S-Sting about what they wanted to do, or try the next time they could meet. Then they would usually meet Saturday, and she wouldn't sleep. This would repeat. She was a totally different person at this point. I won't say in a bad way, but before all this she was shy and would defer. Now she was bright full of confidence, any depression was gone. To me this was gut-wrenching, even though I know I shouldn't be selfish. She was in love, and happy in a way that honestly she never was with me. I think internally I just gave up at this point, and convinced myself she should be with him. I got my wish. She and him moved all their stuff out when I was gone. She dumped me, and initiated a divorce and moved in with him. Quickly she changed. Any text I sent was not responded to quickly, and if it was it was short. I finally started saying some pretty mean stuff to her, and she told if I continued she would block me. She told me no contact was for my own good so I could move on. They live a couple miles from me, and I often have this terrible idea of spying on them. What is crazy to me is how clean it was generally. We have mutual friends, and they seem to be totally fine with her decision. Her parents are fine with it. In the end, she found apparently true love, and moved on from a dysfunctional relationship. The entire thing took a huge hit to my self-esteem. I will admit I let myself go a little during the pandemic, gain weight, hair loss unfortunately, and when she met him she got in amazing shape, started looking nice each day. He was in shape and her friends would swoon. It seemed all natural and predictable. Now months on I'm finally on the path to recovery. I found some friends on this sub that talked me through everything. Started running. Started accepting she won't come back. Working on improving myself. So that's where I'm at now. I won't say the lifestyle is a cause for this happening. Certainty not a solution to any issues you may have. My ex was her own person with desires and different things she wanted. I placed my own fantasies on top of hers and set off a ticking time BMB. When he and she met I couldn't control what happened. They had amazing chemistry. We didn't. For her that wasn't a hot wife fantasy that was love and a sign he was right for her. I would really caution against couples who are young and don't have much experience. At the end of the day though maybe her and I weren't meant to be and now it's my chance to find someone who wants me. Sorry if this is long and rambling I tried to fit the most relevant parts in but there is tons of stuff I'm missing.